Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset on an Allen Bradley PowerFlex 525 drive. And whether you're going through our lessons where we're going through lots of different scenarios of programming the PowerFlex 525, or you just get yours out of whack, knowing how to factory reset is a really good idea. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them down in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. To do a factory reset, we're gonna to go to parameter P53. And they're grouped really nicely. If you just hit the escape key, you're gonna see right now we're at B01. Well, if we hit escape again, that's gonna highlight that B. And if you scroll up, you'll start to see different groups. The next one is the P that we're looking for. So we'll hit enter. And then we're gonna go up to 53. And it's gonna be set to zero. Now this is really important. There are actually several different numbers you can put in here to make it do different resets. So first you have the parameter reset, which is gonna be a value of one. And that doesn't reset the custom groups, your language, or your communications parameters. So if you do that reset, mainly you can still communicate with the drive. Number two is the reset we're gonna do in this video, and that's gonna be a factory reset. So that's gonna put it back to the way it was when you first opened it up. Number three is a power reset, and that's gonna keep all the parameters exactly as they are, except motor data, such as your nameplate volts, your amps, your motor poles, all that data will get reset, but all the rest of the parameters will stay as they were. And then finally, four is gonna be a module reset. So it's gonna be the same as cycling the power on the drive. It won't actually change any parameters. So we're gonna use our up arrow and go to two and hit enter, and it's gonna show a fault code come up. And it says params defaulted. And that's nothing to be alarmed about. All we need to do is cycle the power on our drive now. And when it comes back on, it'll be at factory defaults. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, if you're going through our drive series where we're talking about all different ways you can program this drive, then definitely bookmark this one because in other videos, it'll be like, all right, let's go ahead and reset our drive. I'm not probably gonna walk through it. So refer back to this one to make sure you know how. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.